welcome back, Cosmo World. This is the, um, I think, third installment of Let's Make Cosmo and I's Scale Armor. And we're working, still working on the arm armor. I think it's like gauntlets. Yeah, bra yeah braces are for legs, gauntlets are for the armor. arms. Anyway, that's what we're working on. And uh, we're going to be putting the plate on. And I figure um, that I'm going to be using, where's my fabric? I'm going to be putting fabric on this too. So let's get going. Ugh. Okay, here it is. Here's the gun, just like it was before. Just like it was like a minute or so uh, for me. I don't know, a day ago for you, because I only look a little one of these days. Mostly because I edit these things. It takes me, I don't know, maybe more time to even edit these things than it is to make them. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe I'll get better at editing. Oh well. Um, so we have these plates we cut out before. And what we're going to do with them is we're going to make ridges. Um, Interesting note um, that before I, um, I I shape these, I know for a fact that when I shape these, there is no way it's going to fit completely over this entire edge. I'm going to be putting a lip. I'm going to be getting some um, water flex here and making a lip. Now, normally what I'd be doing is I'd be filing this down and rounding it so it doesn't like scrape up my arm. It's not uncomfortable. But because I'm going to be putting that uh, water flex lip on it, I'm not going to want worry about it. In fact, I'm going to be using that as a chance to put detail into um, my work. Um, make this a little bit more interesting. Because um, that's why I, this is me just kind of getting bored of making um, whatever is in the comic books or on TV at the time. Because um, I don't know, I've watched quite enough of uh, anime and video games to notice there's a pattern to these things. Um, well, I'm not saying my work isn't isn't particularly creative, but, uh, I don't know, I'm just having fun doing my own thing for once. Anyway, uh, this is one millimeter. This is much harder, okay, well, it's considerably harder to work with than just the, th the three. You can see it's already acting up. Yeah, it's acting up. That's because it doesn't, it's so thin it doesn't quite even up evenly, um, and it will also have a tendency to want to unstretch. Um, what I mean is, when these sheets are produced, they're made in a vat of plastic, and they're kind of pressed out like, um, like, um, noodles, spaghetti, rigatoni, so on and so forth. And when it, you heat it up, it gives them a chance to reshape themselves to certain extents. So I'm going to try and do this quickly, and, um, also, I'm moving much more quickly with this because it can burn more easily. It's thinner, it takes, uh, not, it t it's pretty easy to heat up and burn. All right, let's do this. All right, now, if I remember correctly, this is the biggest one, so it goes on the back here. I'm going to make, um, I'm going to make a ridge. Yeah. There we go. Now, this is, this is to kind of, um, transition from these plates to, ooh, you know what, I really don't, I don't really like that. I'm going to heat it up and try it again. Because I want to kind of hide these things. It's not really doing a good job of that. Let's see if I give it another shot. You can do this a few times. But not nearly as many times as you can do with the um, th with the three um, millimeter. This is only one millimeter. If, if, if it deforms, you're pretty much SOL. Come on. Come on, baby, now. There we go. Okay, that's what I want, and I'm just going to pull this up and stretch it out a bit. There we go. Ah, uh -huh. yeah, this, this is still pretty organic of armor. This isn't like um, seal armor or play armor. This is going to be made from, or uh, theoretically made from animal hide, so it can be kind of messed up, or, you know, honey uniform, how should I say that? Yeah. I don't know. I think um, this type of armor, like uh, organic kind of, kinds of armor, have more character. I have more fun with them myself. Okay, time to mount these down into place. Okay, I'm only putting temporary. I'm only mounting these down temporary. I think because. 
um, the details that going over it will um, will need screws as well. I don't need a hundred screws in here, um, so that's why I'm I'm screwing in from this side. Obviously, if I screwed in too deep, I'd have the tip of screw into me, and that would be pretty painful. Oh no, that's not good. <sighs> Messed up again. See, that's me not paying attention. That's just me not paying attention right there. Talking to the camera, not paying attention. Yeah, you want, yeah. Now, yeah, there we go. It's going to hold its shape now. Okay. Uh. Oh my, I think I'm running low on my, um, my half inch number fours. Uh, oh well. There we go. Okay, I'm making most of this from scrap, most of the armor, except for the, the like details. Okay, and yeah, this is the bigger one. This one goes over this one. Alright, time for fast forwarding because I'm just doing basically the same thing. That's the last one. Ooh, wait, the screw then isn't quite right. There we go. Um, so, I don't know, it's shaping up reasonably well. You know, just kind of making this up as I go along. Well, kind of. I mean, I have some idea what I'm doing. But, yeah. There we go. These are our ridges. Um, I think maybe I should heat this up again because I want a little bit more definition than that. Yeah, you get to watch tons of fast forwardness. I don't know. Guys, um, I don't know. Tell me what you think. Should I stop, like, like fast forwarding and just kind of cut to the end? Are you guys, like, watching that or no? I don't, I mean, I think you get, you can piece together what I'm doing from those videos. Or, you know, from the fast forwarding. It doesn't take too much thinking to, do, you know, to figure out what I'm doing. But it does take up time and it can be kind of boring. Oh, well. Um... Let's see, um, here, I'm thinking I'm going to put detailing on the sides with a Wonderflex, and then I'm going to do some, uh, you know, I'm going to use some fabric, where's my fabric at? Fabric, 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 I had fabric, aha, fabric. Yeah, I think, you know what, I'm going to add some fabric in here. Okay, guys? Um, let's find the end of this. Um, here we go. I'm just going to get enough to kind of wrap it around. Um, so I need, I need this much. scissors are going to do a very good job of cutting through this. No. Oh, I'll be back. I'm going to get some good scissors, okay? Alright, well, um, I can't find any scissors. Um, I'm sure there's about ten pairs of scissors somewhere in the house, but I have no idea where they are. Um, yes, the house, and despite the fact that I kind of cleaned, or we kind of cleaned up this area, um, the house is still a mess, um, and all the scissors are probably in a bag someplace with a bunch of other crap. Oh, well. So I'm just going to use this box cutter. I am sure, I am absolutely positive that like everyone with a, the AC teensiest bit of sewing experience is going, no! But uh, that, this is what I had with me at the time. Um, and to be honest, these edges are going to be covered up anyway. 
So I um I'm not gonna hang on it. I'm not gonna spend I don't know two hours searching for a pair of scissors when my light is going away. Um oh well, let's see. I really only needed to cut this far. Ah, oh, miscut. I miscut. Oh well. Let's see. Oh, I'm cutting um two of these rectangles out because I'm going to be making two of these bracers. One is obviously going to be off camera. Yeah, you guys don't need to see me make the same thing twice. It's going to look exactly, well it's going to look relatively the same, but on the other bracer. Okay, um, maybe I can even cut, can I even cut through two layers of fabric with this scissors? Uh, come on baby, give me some cut in action. No, can't even cut through one layer? No. Kind of one layer, maybe. Ah, uh, this is terrible. I don't know, maybe I will, like, actually break down and look through all the, like, bags of supposedly cleaned up goods that we had in our living room. Oh, well. Um, well, that's going to be, I'm going to be putting this on. I'm going to actually be gluing this down. Um, cause it's not like it needs to be sewn. Um, it's not being attached to anything. It's just going to be putting up. Be, it's just I'm just putting it on here for decoration. That's pretty much it. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much, pretty much. What I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying it too much. I hate when I say too many um, the same word repetitively for no good reason whatsoever. <sighs> oh well. Let's try and get this to go as evenly as I can. All right, let's see. What kind of glue am I going to use? What kind of glue? Am I just going to use plain Elmer glue? I guess I could. Um, it doesn't need to be particularly strong. I'm going to be putting... I'm going to be putting... Um, putting... Uh, what is it? The Wonderflex on as a detail. But... Oh man, I am not happy with not being able to cut through these. I need some pair of scissors. I, I absolutely need a pair of scissors here. Come on. Oh well. You know what? Um, wait, what are these? Are these? Do these work? These pattern scissors? You guys seeing me like frustratingly going through? Oh wow, these are way better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these work. And since the edge really doesn't matter, I am happy as a clam. Oh look here. Okay, well. Hey, so I wanted this shape here. Oh, okay, awesome. That will definitely work. All right, yay! Random pair of odd scissors work. This is why I get the crap scissors. Obviously, these are not good scissors, as they disintegrate in my hand. All right. Now, what I want to do is evenly. I'm going to put this on, but I'm going to smooth it out because if it's all bulgy and uneven, it's going to definitely show through the fabric. Um, at the end of the day, it's not going to be super pretty. We don't want, we want to get rid of all the excess too. It's just enough to get it to stick. Alright. Uh, I'm sure like people with fabric are going, oh my god, this is terrible. This is like what you should not be doing. Well, I'm not using fabric in a traditional sense. I'm using it as decorative bits, maybe as like a similar to scrapbooking. And if I remember, white glue is perfectly acceptable in scrapbooking. Okay, here we are. There we go. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to try and position this evenly over both sides. I am kind of favoring this side. This side's getting kind of bare. So let me just fix this a little bit. Oops. Don't worry, it'll dry clear. It'll be just fine. Alright. There we go. Okay, now our um now our bit our gauntlets are starting to take shape. Now. Alright, I'm gonna end this here. We're gonna come back and we're gonna start cutting out random bits of Wonderflex and we'll grab the Wonderflex from over there on the the uh 
bin and we're gonna start putting details of Wonderflex all over the place. Um, this has been Let's Make Cosplay with Knives. Um, what is it, scale armor? Yeah, this is gonna be scaling scale armor. Actually, you know what? We're, I'm also gonna, I may as well put some more of this, this fabric on here. What do you guys think? No, yes? Oh well, it'll be too late for you guys to say, you know, have any meaningful input on this anyway, because I'll finish it by the time I put this video up. <laughs> anyway, um, I remember I want to know what you want to know, and I want to hear what you think of my technique and my different um, uses of the materials and so on and so forth. If you have any ideas for different things you want to see, different materials you want to see, different things you want to be want made, I will be happy to show them off. I just love making stuff. I make stuff every day, all day. It's so much fun. Um, and this is kind of entertaining of me for me to make videos. Uh, it's just like a new kind of diversion for me. Oh well. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. This has been Knives. Good times to all.